Hi, hello, and welcome back to Bioenergetics. Uh, my name is Devraj. This is an ongoing series looking essentially at um, body psychology in a way. Body psychology in a way. Certainly with this exercise we're going to look at today. In the sense, body psychology in the sense of understanding how areas of our body, areas of our natural movement become impeded as we have certain psychological, emotional issues, uh, feelings trapped inside our body, you know, repressed into the muscle system. Or dead zones, areas where we've completely evacuated the body and there's no awareness left in certain regions of our muscles. And bioenergetics is looking at exercises that we can use to correct that. And today what we're going to look at is a very, very kind of deep, in fact, in some ways, the most deepest primal issue that humans can have. And for me, working as a therapist, looking at my own life, when I've had it quite deeply at times, and looking at a lot of clients and people who come to my workshops, it's very, very common, very, very common, but right underneath it all is almost the denial of our right to be, of our right to exist, to really have our own space, to be our own self and to move forward into life, you know, that there needs to be somewhere in the core of our psyche, if we're going to work, if we're going to come out into the world and really be real, we have to believe we have the right. And sometimes because of childhood, because of trauma, because of whatever goes on in our, in our young lives, and possibly a little bit the way our brain has been conditioned to interpret events, we end up lacking this self-belief. Right at the core of us, there's a gap, and that gap needs to be filled. And so this exercise works really at a sort of belly and pelvic area uh, with a kind, it's almost like a primate exercise to really start to get that moving again, get that, that core that needs to be filled, filled up again. And what I'm going to do in, in this video is just explain the posture and the pose and that, and then I'll make another video probably tomorrow where we can do a little workout with this, you know, for 10 minutes or so, so that you have something to move along with and really get it established. But here we're going to look a bit at the theory, which I've just done, and the posture. So what you're going to do in this in this practice is to take your feet quite wide apart, certainly like maybe, you know, somewhere around 0.7 to a metre apart, you know, two to three feet apart if you're on the imperial system, and have the outsides of your feet roughly parallel, as is, as is normal. You can't quite see that part on the video, but you, I think you know what it looks like. And then you start initially to breathe and feel down into your belly for a minute or two. Ah. <sighs> really trying to establish a connection with the gut. You know, this, this principal primate power center and center for healing that we all have. <sighs> Breathing through the mouth quite deep and feeling down into your belly, trying to get awareness into the belly. You do this for about a minute or so, and then you go into this posture. You have your arms quite open and your palms facing, rather like you're, you're carrying a large ball in some way, but your upper body is relaxed. And then what you do is you make a grunt sound, which is a deep sound from inside. The deepest sound you personally can make. You don't need to judge it or contrast it if you think your sound is a bit high. You know, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's the deepest sound you can make as a distinct grunt. And at the same time, you flick your pelvis forwards. It goes a bit like, uh, uh. I'll show you from the side so you get a get a chance to look at it from the side. You can see this pelvic flick. It's like As you do this, you know, at some point, you know, you start to reconnect with these kind of deep primate feelings, having a right to take something, having a right to, to nourish yourself with what you need. You know, it's not pretty, it's not intellectual, it's very, very primal, like a gut level reflex to get what you need in, in life. And this, this reflex starts to fill up that gap where there's a lack of self-belief right in the core of the psyche. You know, the feeling that you're not okay. When you do it, it's good to do it for five to ten minutes at least and to set a time in advance. Tomorrow we'll do a workout with it and I'll put that online. But let's just keep breathing and feeling your body as you do it. Let's try it again. <coughs> Hey, hey, 
as you do it, it's important to really feel inside your body, you know, so you get the feeling with it. You're not achieving much if you do the posture and dissociate and go into your mind and start thinking about something else. As much as you can, stay down there in your gut, in your belly, in your hips and feel it, you know, so you get the psychological sense of it. This primal right to take what you need. One more time and then I'll leave it for today, okay? <clears throat> Okay, hopefully you got the posture. Give it a try. Make sure when you first do it, you set yourself a time of at least five minutes. Because what will happen is as soon as you start to contact deeper layers of feeling, and this exercise stirs up deeper levels of feeling, you will suddenly want to stop and come out of it. And that won't give you very much. You need to commit for at least five minutes. Feel into your belly to start. Have your knees a bit bent, then get into it and really go for it. Make sure you do the five minutes. And then breathe, give yourself a little bit of time, time just to process and to integrate the exercise. Okay, so that's our bioenergetic exercise for today. And like I say, I'll do a workout with this exercise very, very soon, hopefully tomorrow, and put that online. Okay, bye for now, guys. Over and out. And keep doing the bio. You can do it.